All right, we've got Mr. Emoji Balloon here. I'm gonna be shooting some flames at him. Yes. Here we go! <laughs> What up? It's Chad Wild Clay, and holy DC Comics, did you guys comment in the last video that I should do Suicide Squad weapons? So today, we are buying a bunch of Suicide Squad weapons and testing them out. Let's go! And the first Suicide Squad character we are looking at is Joker and Joker's razor sharp playing cards. The Joker's cards are much like Shuriken or Ninja Stars. He can throw them with astounding accuracy and they've been known to be sharp enough to damage Batman's gliding hardness. Huh, razor sharp playing cards now, that might be kind of tough to find online, but I think I know where to go. KarateMart.com has the Joker throwing cards. This is perfect, $16.95. These Joker throwing cards are made from high quality steel and sharpened to a razor sharp edge on four sides. These things are gonna be perfect. Let's go ahead and order these. Well, 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 what do I smell? Let's open up the box and we have a nice nylon case here. And I always like it when they add a little belt loop here so I can wear this on my belt. So I opened it up. What do we have in here? Let's get it out of its plastic. Ooh, it is sharp. I like just poked my finger <laughs> on the corner here trying to take the plastic off. Wow, that is cool. Look at this thing. All right, I've got all four playing cards here. We've got the clubs, the diamonds, the hearts, and the spades. And these things are heavy duty metal. It's probably hard to see on camera here, but these are some really sharp edges. This is going to pop a balloon, cut a piece of fruit. I could like shave my face with these. All right, there's all four of them right there. So let's go outside and chop some stuff up. But wait a second, first I need to become Joker. We got Ruby's Costumes Men's Batman Dark Knight the Joker Deluxe Adult Costume. Now wait a second, I actually already have this costume. I bought it a long time ago. Let's go get that costume right now. And here we go, we got the Joker costume. I bought this a couple years ago. Never tried it on actually. So let's open it up, see what we have here. All right, so we got Joker's kind of cape with a green shirt and a nice little fake tie there. And we have Joker's mask. Now this is kind of more of the uh, Christopher Nolan Dark Knight Joker. This one's a little bit more like the Suicide Squad Joker from the Suicide Squad movie. But uh, since I already have this other Joker costume, let's just try this one on and see how it goes. Here we go. Now I am the Joker. <laughs> Wait, that's not his laugh. Anyway, let's take these razor sharp playing cards and go outside and chop some stuff up. Here we go. What up, what up? The Joker is here and I've got my good buddy Justin behind the camera. What's up, Joke? Justin does a really good Joker impersonation. And here we go. So I'm just gonna have him do all the talking for me. <laughs> we are out here with the Joker's throwing cards, Justin. You haven't seen these yet. No, I haven't. So you can, I can wear this on my belt, just uh -huh. like so, and I can open it up like this. Oh, interesting. And I can pull out these razor sharp throwing cards. Ooh, nasty joke. Yes, exactly. Uh -huh. Give this edge a feel with your hand here. Oh, wow. That's <laughs> pretty, some serious stuff. Pretty sharp. That's so. no joke. <laughs> oh, <Hello. but> um, <laughs> so we are going to take these cards and we're going to see how they perform against the evil, evil emoji water balloons. Let's do it. Sayonara, emoji water balloon. I'll never forget this day. Blue water. All Ooh. right, we got one more guy to get to here. Let's take him out. Another emoji water balloon with the uh, the clubs. All right, going out with the clubs. He's gonna go clubbing. I'll never forget this day. Well, 
Joker sure showed the emoji water balloons. Let's go back inside and get another weapon. And the next Suicide Squad character we are taking a look at is Harley Quinn and her baseball bat. Harley Quinn wields a wooden baseball bat measuring about 32 inches in length. And her bat has the wording good night written on it, which means good night, I'm about to knock your lights out when I swing this bat at your face. Let's see if we can go online and find Harley Quinn's baseball bat. Here we go, Suicide Squad, Harley Quinn baseball bat prop replica. Let's add this to cart and that'll be a good start. Here we go. And what do we have here? It's a smiley face. It really wants me to have this Harley Quinn baseball bat. Wow, look at that. Come on. It's got a nice uh, picture of Harley Quinn on it. Suicide Squad, Suicide Squad, baseball authentic prop replica. Let's pull the bat out. This is a cool bat. Good night. Bunch of writing, uh, way too much for me to read in this video. And then down at the bottom here, it's got some cool colors and symbols and then the handle wrapped in some cloth here. I think we're probably gonna run into Harley Quinn out there. First, we need to find a Harley Quinn costume. So let's jump online and find some Harley Quinn stuff. Here we go, Ruby's Women's Suicide Squad Deluxe Harley Quinn Costume. And now we need a wig. Aha, Ruby's Costume Co. Women's Suicide Squad Harley Quinn Value Wig. I love a good value. Let's add these to cart and let's do it. And it's the Harley Quinn costume. And what's behind it? The wig. Suicide Squad includes the jacket with attached top, shorts, belt, fishnet, tights. And then here is the wig. Why don't we actually have V try these on and see how they look? Here we go. Quinn. Oh my goodness. <laughs> what a oh cute couple. God, you're so crazy. That's, so creepy. that's no way to talk about the love of your life over here. Exactly. I mean, that's the way I like him. Creepy. Oh, I got something to make you like me a little bit more, I think. All right. Uh-oh. What's he talking about? Jewelry cuz I don't like that. But Heck you'll no. Love this. <gasps> oh. Check that baby out. Woo! Good night. Whoa. Why do you think it says good night on it? Uh, cuz she kills people? I don't know. <laughs> Fight. Yeah, these are actually pretty sharp, like they're poking into my hands, putting these two hard. Oh. Well, we don't want that. So we don't want that. We want the bat. To How destroy about that? some fruit. <laughs> <laughs> We got a googly-eyed Harley Quinn here. Wow. Three, uh, three eyed Harley Quinn. Three eyes. <laughs> three eyes. The One pink. on the top. Yeah, and two on the bottom. Wow. This is a mutant Harley Quinn, so we gotta take her out before she uh, reproduces. Oh no! Here we go. Practice swing. I think you actually uh, hit the stool on that one. Yeah, what do you yeah, think, you Harley Quinn? Yeah, Toads. I was gonna say, because the, that made a really loud sound for a watermelon. That sounded like wood on wood. Oh! <laughs> but it still exploded. So, great job, Harley Quinn bat. Let's go back inside and get another weapon. Good night. And the next Suicide Squad character we are checking out is Katana. She is a human samurai assassin codenamed Katana after her weapon of choice, which is the Deadly Sword. She is a member of the Suicide Squad and of note is the only voluntary member. Now, I already have a Katana sword, which is gonna be perfect for the character Katana, which makes sense. It is this one. It is an awesome Katana blade. It's about 28 inches long on the blade. Overall length of the entire sword is about 41 inches. It has a 
black nylon handle with some pretty cool engravings. So let's go grab that sword. And we've got the katana sword, which is perfect for the character katana. Am I right? It only makes sense. Now, if you guys have been watching my other Fruit Ninja videos, you have seen this sword already. It comes in this very nice, hard, scabbard, awesome nylon handle here, and it pulls out just like so. It is extremely sharp. I don't know why I even touched my finger to it. I just wanna make sure it's still sharp, right guys? Is that, that why I'm doing that? I just can't help but touch it. My, it's like, it like draws me to it in a very bad way. <laughs> <laughs> so this thing is so incredibly sharp that we've sliced through sodas, through watermelons, through even like little strawberries that V has thrown at me. So we're gonna go outside and really chop some stuff up. Uh, I'm gonna see if we can cause a pretty big explosion of soda with this thing. So are you guys ready? Let's go. <laughs> Now our teammate of the Suicide Squad, Katana, couldn't be here today, but she did loan us her Katana blade. Ooh. Ooh yeah, check this baby out. Now we can have a true battle, you know? Oh, I the, don't know. The bat versus the cards weren't very very fair, but now the bat versus Katana blade. That might even things out a little bit. Yeah, yeah. but actually I don't want to ruin that bat. Yeah, that's, it's pretty nice. It's a really nice bat, so. That is, that is a really nice bat. I've actually really always wanted a bat. Really? Oh yeah, yeah you yeah. have. You should hear this girl oh, talk. Oh, you always talk about taking a bat to people's heads, you little <laughs> psycho. You're the real life Harley Quinn. Yeah, she, look at that laugh. Yeah, that was, was a psycho. Was, that was a psycho laugh. <laughs> Scary, I'm gonna have nightmares now. Ooh. Uh, how freaky. did I end up with this girl? Uh, yeah, you attract the crazies. Guys, help me, help me. Ah. <laughs> Enough about your bat. We're talking about katanas. Katana. So let's go chop up a soda with this. Oh. I've right. got an extra carbonated soda, so I'm hoping it's gonna explode really big. Here we go. Boom! Oh no, who's this? <laughs> this is a Harley Quinn. Look, they copied my hairstyle. Oh, she oh did. no. The pink, pink and, and blue. the blue. Yeah. Right above well, the googly eyes. Well, wow. I, would, I would never chop Harley Quinn, but I guess since this is just for fun. Just for oh, fun. Oh no. Let's yeah. give her a little chop. Yeah. Woo! I'm so sorry, Harley Quinn soda ninja. I, I don't mean to do this to you. Check that out. That's pretty cray. The good old katana sword never lets us down, does it? Let's go back inside and get another weapon. In the next Suicide Squad member we are checking out is Captain Boomerang. He is a violent thug from Australia who uses a variety of high-tech boomerangs to commit crimes and fight the good guys. Now with a name like Captain Boomerang, it's pretty obvious that he throws a boomerang. So this should be pretty easy to find online. Let's do it. Now I found a lot of plastic ones, which I don't think are gonna do a good job, but this one I think is gonna do a better job because it is wooden, glacier wooden boomerang. Four kids, eight to 18 years old. Oh, good thing I'm only uh, nine years old. I just made the cutoff. That's a joke, guys. I'm much older than that. Handcrafted from airplane grade birch wood, imported from Finland. So wait. Airplanes are made out of wood? I, I haven't flown one of those airplanes in my life, I don't think. But I guess if they make airplanes out of it, it's gotta be pretty strong. So let's go ahead and order this thing and see what we get. And when you check out this thing, it is a boomerang. And it comes with warning symbols. Uh, boomerangs are a sport article, not a toy. Parental supervision is required. Oh, I better go get my parents. Okay, cool, so it comes with a manual on how to throw boomerangs. That is a pretty thick manual, so there must be a lot to learn here. So I'm gonna give this a read off camera, so I won't bore you guys with that, but let's check this boomerang out here. Okay, it's pretty light, uh, pretty thin, uh, but definitely is gonna do a better job than those plastic boomerangs, because those plastic ones are usually pretty bendy and stuff. This 
cannot be bent. It's pretty sturdy, yeah. Very good wood, uh, cool color. I like that, how it gets red at the end. It's like when I hit somebody and blood got on it. Just kidding, <laughs> hopefully that doesn't happen. But maybe that's just uh, some watermelon residue. Yeah, yeah, that's what that red is. Let's go outside and test this thing out on some stuff. Here we go. Hey, get that bat out of here because we are checking out Captain Boomerang's Boomerang. Oh. Check it out. And it already has some uh, watermelon residue on the edges here. Right. I'm joking, that's oh. paint. <laughs> Watermelon you're, blood. You're such a joker. I uh, am a joker. I'm not even trying to be. I'm just a natural joker. But is, that why, is that why you like me, Harley? So, I'm not sure what this boomerang is gonna be able to destroy. Any ideas, guys? What, what should we throw this thing at? Pen Thanks. pineapple apple pen. <laughs> Pen pineapple apple pen. I've got a boomerang. <laughs> I've got a pineapple. Just stop, oh. stop. Uh, Hey, Harley <laughs> Quinn. How dare you? Hey, it's a cool necklace. Look at that. It's all right. She's like, do not touch my throat. <laughs> <laughs> I will kill you. All she right. will. She will. All right. Well, let's see what this can do against some fruit. Here we go. Good night, banana. Ooh. Get you? He totally got me! Look at that! Oh, Banana juice! Woo. That wasn't a funny joke, Joker. <laughs> what do we got, Quinn? Good night, hot pepper. Ooh! Oh, it's getting hot in here, Harley Quinn! Boomerangs, boomerang, cuts things right in half. Now we're gonna go back inside and get a really freaky cool weapon. Here we go. Whoa. And the next Suicide Squad member we are checking out is El Diablo. He is a meta-human criminal and member of the Suicide Squad. Initially, he was reluctant to use his pyrokinetic powers, which means he's able to control fire and flames out of his hands. Now, you guys may be wondering, how am I gonna control fire and flames out of my hands? Well, you just wait and see because I just found something really cool online. Check it out. It is from illusionists.com. It is the Pyro Mini Fire Shooter for $149. Essentially, it's this little wrist strap here and you can shoot fire out of your hands. So when I saw this, I was like, oh my gosh, I have gotta try that out. So let's grab this thing. Gimme, 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 the Pyro Mini has arrived. Now actually this arrived yesterday, so I've already opened it and read through all of the instructions and warnings and safety precautions. Because this thing does shoot fire, it's very dangerous. You have to take this seriously. Uh, here's some of the warnings and disclaimers here. Here's some more. There were a lot of videos online that I watched to learn how to use this uh, and how to safely do everything. So what you get here in the box is quite a few things. I'll just show you some of it. First is the the main component is the wrist strap here. So you wear it on your wrist or you can hold it in your hands. And the first 20 to 30 or so times you use this, you're not supposed to wear it on your wrist. You're supposed to hold it in your hand or place it down and uh, test it out that way. Just to be safe where you get used to using it. Uh, so you load these holes here with some fire paper and uh, it's like a magician's paper that lights on fire and uh, just burns for a short period of time. So we have that which shoots the flame. We have this which helps load it. We wrap the paper on here and we load the holes here. Now you can shoot one flame or two flames at once. And we have a remote control as well. So you can shoot the flame by pressing the button here or you can shoot the flame remotely by pressing down this button here. So I am super excited to go shoot some flames out of my hands. Let's go guys. <laughs> All right, we've got Mr. Emoji Balloon here, and I'm gonna be shooting some flames at him. Whoa! Say sayonara to Mr. Emoji Balloon. Sayonara. Good night, Mr. Oh. oh, Harley, that's good, all right. Let's do this. Yep. Here we go! <laughs> Oh! 
Woo! He took a little bit. He got shook. I got one more shot. Let's try it again. So we're back from the dead. just reloaded and I'm gonna shoot two fireballs at the same time against Mr. Emoji. Let's see what happens. Here we go! <laughs> Mr. Emoji is tougher than I thought. So oh. He lasted against that flame. Good job, buddy. Let's go back inside. Oh, that was way too cool. If you guys want to get your own pyro mini flame shooter, a link to Illusionist is down below. Thank you, Illusionist, for hooking me up with that fire shooter. And thank you to KarateMart.com, of course, for hooking me up with the cool weapons. Make sure to type in wild clay during checkout to get 10% off. And thank all of you guys for all the awesome comments. I'm gonna put some of my favorites from the last video right down here. Make sure to let me know what you wanna see me do next down below as well. And if you guys haven't seen this video, you should definitely check it out if you're not subscribed right there, but I'm sure you guys already are because you're super freaking awesome. If you're not subscribed to V, AKA Harley Quinn, check her out there. And if that video doesn't look interesting, maybe this one does. All right, I'll see you guys real soon with a brand new video. Yeah.